Hi everyone, it's Lewis from Game On Comics uh, in Vienna, Virginia. Uh, that comic shop guy, and we're now those comic shop guys. And hope that you watched our video last week. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, and I think that it's opened up uh, a lot of possibilities for us to continue doing this. And so we're going to get right into the video. We've got two comics uh, to talk about. So Convergence started last week. And now it officially begins with issue number one. And so this is DC's huge uh, title that's going to change everything. Um, it's so weird and confusing, and I'm a DC guy that I don't even know what's going on. So I'm going to let Michael talk a little bit about the premise of Convergence. So we know that Brainiac likes to bottle worlds. This one just explains that he has a world he stores bottled worlds on, and that because of an event we're not really sure about, Brainiac's disappeared. So the master of that world has decided that everybody should fight everybody else until he'll use all of his power to save the world that wins. Because a lot of the worlds he has are worlds that were about to die. So that means we have uh, Red Sun fighting normal Superman. We have the Green Lantern who looks like a Celtic Guardian fighting different people. It's all over the place. All right, well, here's my thoughts on this, and then, Matt, I'm going to ask you yours. Um, I really hate the multi-universe and all the different other Earths and all this sort of stuff. I just want my DC Universe to be just one world. And so that was actually the best news I heard when I read this, is Brainiac and I are on the same page. He just wants one world also, and they're going to fight until there's only one left. This is great news for me. I don't know about you guys. It wasn't even Brainiac. <laughs> the dude talking? Oh, no. Is it, who no, it's the planet. It had a different name. name. It was like Talos. Yeah, it said it like six times. He repeats yeah. himself. Yeah, his name is Talos. He, he's yeah. a Brainiac person. I, I don't know. I liked Convergence. I like that it's not messing around. It's just kind of like issue one. All right, brought you guys here. Fight. And then they're going to be fighting as... I assume for the next four or five issues, and then more things. It also blocks out a lot of the annoying things the defense sometimes do because Brainiac stipulates that if you violate any rule, he takes it out on your world mode. All right. Well, here's here's the thing about Convergence is that uh, there's not only is there the main title going on, but there's also a whole bunch of other Convergence titles that are going on about this. Um, during the same week. So there's like five other titles that are out. All right, we're moving on. Let's move on to our other book, Savior. Uh, this is by Image, uh, and it's a number, new number one. We all read it, and uh, from what I understand, we have differing opinions. Uh, basically, it looks like the premise of the story is that there is um, uh, a man in town um, who has maybe taken on the role of savior. Um, everyone knows about him. In the very beginning, there's some news footage. And then it goes back a few months. I think it was three or six months. And then it kind of tells the story of the first maybe miracle that happened in Damascus. And so um, what did you guys think? I liked it. Um, it's going to have a lot of biblical references. The town is called Abelsville from Cain and Abel. Mm. They even specifically say that. They talk about questioning the Bible a lot, and it's just some, it feels like a random John Doe is their savior, or is performing miracles. And it's very open-ended after the first issue. Um, I, think it, I think it'll be alright. It's pretty easy to see where it's going, if you start thinking about it. Because, so if we have someone doing miracles, one of the greatest miracles Jesus ever did was coming back from the dead. And the first page, he there's an issue. So, well, do you think he was dead? Like, there's a, there's a problem that happens in the first issue. Um, there's death involved. Um, an incredible, right in the very middle. I'll just show you a picture. I, you're probably not going to be able to see this. But incredible art. I thought the art was great. Um, but there's a problem that happens. So you think the savior dude uh, maybe Basically, it's dies. the premise of, in a perfectly normal world, what if someone started doing the things that Jesus was able to be do, able to do. 
How would he be received? What would people think of him? Because what people would say is he's a false prophet. Right. He's cheating. He's lying. And what if the person doing them has no knowledge of any of these biblical stories we hold as fact? Right. He'd, he'd just be like, okay, well, you're no longer maimed. Like, done. Thank right. you. This is wine now. Thank you. Right. Like, would he care? What would he be? It's a very interesting Bible-ish take on things. All right. Well, I liked it. Um, I really thought that the art was compelling. Oh, yeah, the art. The, the art was great, yeah. and uh, the story. It kind of is just like it seems like it's the first fifteen minutes of a TV show. You know, it's like we're barely getting a taste of what this book is going to be like about. Like we're supposed to get the theme song at the end of the comic, right? Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. What do you think? Yeah, no, I liked it a lot. Um, I always like enjoy a lot of image number ones. Yeah. they're usually hits. We'll see if they can keep it up. I mean, the writer is the writer of Spawn, so I think he can definitely keep the story going and keep it up. All right. And then you didn't um, like it, or you did like it? I'm hesitant because I can already see where the story's going, so it bores me already. Maybe it surprises you. <laughs> Don't think so. We'll see. All right, you guys, that's it for this week. We've taken up a few minutes of your time. We appreciate you watching. Uh, check us out next week. We'll do some more comics and uh, maybe continue our Convergence talk. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Thanks again. We'll see you next week.